Hello everyone, welcome back to the Philogix PBR Painter channel, your go-to destination for enhancing your texturing skills in Blender. Today, we'll be diving into texturing a classic style suitcase. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more valuable insights. Alright, let's get started. For this project, I'll be working with multiple materials, including leather, metal and plastic and I'll be exporting a complete set of PBR textures for all these materials. So, first, I need to create these three material slots. After creating the material set and assigning materials to each area of the object, we can proceed with texturing each material. To begin this process, I need to bake the necessary maps for the object. Since I'm using sharp edges, these edges are quite sharp and might not look very natural. While I could create a high poly mesh to bake normals and smooth out these edges, it would be time consuming and not suitable for simple models like this. Instead, I'll utilize the bevel function within Philogic's PBR Painter's baking feature to quickly achieve this. Now that the sharp edges have been softened, but with a radius too large, I need to define the bevel radius and proceed with baking again. Much better, you can see that a subtle yet refined change can greatly improve the final result. Similarly, I proceed to bake the next set of maps. Next, we need to move to the paint layer to add details to the materials. In the first material layer, I'll select a smart leather material. Philogix PBR Painter provides these smart assets to expedite the texturing process. Simply select and adjust the parameters as needed. The two side strips of the product require a darker leather type, so I'll create a custom material layer. With this custom material layer, we can alter the material properties by adding channel layers within the PBR channels.
As you can see, I've just added an image layer in the layer mask to apply white color to the desired area of this new material layer. The layer mask also contains sub-layers like the PBR channels, but it doesn't alter the material properties. Instead, it defines the visibility of this material layer for the layers below. With similar steps, I'll proceed to create materials for metal and plastic. For the metal and plastic layers, I need to add an embossed logo, so I'll add a custom layer. I'll decrease the height by adding a surface layer within the height channel and reducing the float value. Then, I'll add an image layer within the layer mask, load the logo I need, and adjust the image layer's position using projection. Projection determines how a layer is projected onto an object. For this image layer, I'll project it in decal mode, ensuring to enable culling projection to cut out unnecessary areas. Copying the logo layer to the plastic material and readjusting the projection completes the process. To make the model look more realistic, I'll create a subtle dust layer and copy this layer to all materials. I've completed texturing the suitcase product with a vintage style. Now all that's left is to export these materials as a PBR texture set that we can use in most 3D software today. I'll double check the PBR texture set to see the final result. Today's tutorial has guided us through the process of texturing a classic style suitcase in Blender using Philogic's PBR Painter. We started by setting up material slots and baking necessary maps for the object, ensuring a smooth transition between sharp edges using the bevel function. Then we delved into the paint layer, 
utilizing smart materials and custom layers to add intricate details such as leather textures and embossed logos. To enhance realism, we added a subtle dust layer across all materials. Finally, we exported the textured materials as a comprehensive PBR texture set ready for use in various 3D software. By following these steps, we've achieved a vintage aesthetic for our suitcase model. I hope this tutorial has been informative and inspiring for your texturing projects. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks on the Philogix PBR Painter channel. Happy texturing!